Well, the van is just about done. Thought I'd give you a little tour of it on this nice sunny day. Uh, you can see on the top there, we have the solar panels, and uh, those have been working fantastic. I have uh, three 100 waters mounted up there. have the ARB awning on the side. It comes out for um, a nice little bit of uh, protection from the weather as soon as we pull up to a location. So let's go have a look inside and see how it turned out. All right, let's step inside and have a look. All right, starting off right here, we have our nice wood flooring down there. We have a, uh, the camera will adjust in a second here. We have our Dometic. There's the brand right there. A refrigerator. It has been working fantastic. Off of the solar, we have a 12 volt hookup. You see that wire there? And we have an uh, inverter for making uh, 115 volts. Here's the cabinet that I built to fit in here, and it is working uh, great. It's all loaded up. Underneath the bed, there's a rod to keep all the stuff in there. We still have a few items to put in there, uh, but we have storage that's all underneath. And we keep a stool in here so we can put this outside when we're camping and get in and out. Look at that, huh? Well, this is the colors that Carolyn decided to put in here. And we wanted something a little eclectic. We have little things hanging around. We nicknamed the Van Bob, and so I made a little sign for that. And then we have the curtains that'll slide, so if we need to peek outside. There's LED lighting in the back. On either side of the bed. Isn't that just cool looking? Up on the ceiling we have the uh, Max Air fan and uh, these two wood blocks that you see were where the seat belt uh, holders were and so I took them out. Custom LED light strip that I built for the whole side. We have storage over here and uh, it's just beautiful. We're uh, loving the thing and we're, we're getting excited since it's done. To go take the maiden voyage in it. Let me show you the back here. Alright, so we have the bed here. And uh, we have all the storage underneath. Got everything in there. A jack and table, chairs. Solar systems over in that corner there. That powers everything up. And of course this bed swings up. So I can get access. And uh, we have the curtains on the back door. That would slide open if we want to have a look. Let's just have a look here without the bright light. And you can see how cool it looks. There's the LED lighting uh, strip that I made. Carved out some wood to, to mount it. And uh, we just can't wait to go. And we have those curtains there that will block it from the, uh, the front. So um, they're kind of inconspicuous. But the white on the inside gives us a little bit more uh, light in here. So let me open those up and you can have a look and see the view that way. Okay, so there's a view straight up. Uh, if we have the curtains open, uh, what our view would be like uh, from the front. Uh, so it's uh, really turned out nice. I changed out the fixtures also on the top. I used the original lighting that came with it. And uh, what I did was get LED bulbs so that we'll be very low on energy usage. And they're all tied into my solar system. Over there, that little blue light that you're seeing uh, reads uh, what kind of current and amperage and, and what kind of solar we're bringing in on the system. So let's have a look in the cockpit here. So we put some uh, seat covers on here. And uh, they're going to match everything. Match the curtains, match the whole blue van. You'll see that seat's a little lumpy over there. Well, we put some stuffing under there because the thing needs to be redone, but we're not ready to do that yet, and it works uh, quite good for now. But the curtains, as you can see here, match really nice and make it kind of inconspicuous, kind of a denim look. There's my custom cup holder, and my phones can sit right up in the, uh, just sit right up in here, 
and we have the cup holder there. So we put some new mats down that you can see and uh, we are ready to go. Got a GPS mounted up there because the speedometer is a little wonky so that will tell me how fast I'm going and where I'm going. So we're really happy with the way this bad boy uh, turned out and we're ready shortly here to go out and take it for its uh, maiden voyage for an, an overnight camping. Okay, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this build. If you missed any parts of it, you can go back and uh, have a look at it on the uh, other videos that I've done in the playlist. All right, well, this is the Homestead Handyman, and I hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, please like, share, subscribe, and give me the old thumbs up. Homestead Handyman, out.